Rocky Horror Picture Show is the longest running audience participation movie in the world. We want you to yell shit, we want you to throw shit, we want you to time warp, we want you to have fun. For the love of God, just remember it's a lot like sex if you don't participate. Is this my good side or is this my good side? <laughs> huh? That explains the handprints all over my ass. Whoa. <laughs> That's just the weirdest thing. What? I first saw Rocky in 1985. And that's when I started performing. I was 13. I was terrified. And I was with my mother, who is actually here tonight, which was back in 1990. A friend of mine was performing in Rocky Horror over in Hayward, and I went to go see him. And at the time, I didn't see myself getting involved in Rocky, but I also didn't see myself not getting involved in Rocky. I have been on about 20 of the Starfire tours. Somewhere around there, I'd have to count. There comes a point where something becomes either, either you break the tradition or you you make you absolutely set the tradition. And so then the next year we went on tour again. And by then it's like, wow, I guess we're going on tour every summer. A good friend of mine, Marianne Hooper, invited me to go to church with her. And so I showed up and I joined the choir. It was the Sunshine Singers Choir at the time. And Dirk and Carol DeMonte were the directors. And kind of from that point on, I just never left. We hired Cindy to be uh, to work with with Carol primarily in youth ministry, and then she kind of evolved into doing this media ministry thing, and now she's full time doing media ministry here. One of the really powerful things about Starfire is that everybody is accepted for who they are. We have all kinds of different people. It's the most uh, eclectic group of high schoolers I think you'll ever meet. Because it's going on for so many years and it's a place where people feel that they can be themselves. There's the really, really popular kids. It's like being a high school jock or a prep. And there's the, the kind of complete, not misfit, or an outcast. Rocky accepts all types of people. I don't know what, the, I don't want to say like loner cut. Well, whether you're fat, ugly, beautiful, thin, no matter what. But you know what I mean, kids that that don't necessarily fit into to social groups in high school and they come and they blossom in Starfire. You can feel like you can be comfortable with who you are, no matter what age you are, how you dress, you know, any sexual preference, whatever. And I think that's important to teenagers. There is this really amazing unifying force that, that really, I really do think makes people feel accepted and loved and included and encouraged to be who they are. We've had people who've lost parents, we've had people who you know, gone through really hard things in life. And Starfire accepts them for who they are and loves them for who they are. It's kind of a haven for like the freaks who can't find acceptance in other ways. And it's just a really great accepting community. No matter what your gender, no matter what your sexuality, no matter what your kink. Here I could be myself and here I could do anything. I could feel anything. I could express anything and it was just my home away from home. I left in 2000, I took five years off, I hated everybody, and I came back, I missed it a lot. I missed um, the, the sort of quote unquote family vibe we had on this cast. People always tend to come back because of that sense of community and family. I think until you've been a part of something, something like that, you, you, you don't understand what it's all about. The body cast is very close knit. It's really a weird twisted family where you know, you, you roll around on stage together, you have a good time, but these are still people that if you're having a bad day, you can call them and say, hey, I, need, I really need to get some stuff off my chest. And, and just like your best friends when you're in high school or out of high school or, you know, whatever, you can call them and talk to them about anything. You have Starfire in common, and that's something that's so unique than you have a connection, you have something to talk about, and you feel that community right off the bat. We're always there for each other, so we're very tight-knit. The love and the community that's built throughout that year and then climaxes with those trips every summer um, is a really powerful experience. And Dirk and Carol are some of my best friends, so I get to do it with them as well. 
Um, well, I'm not sure that was my experience at the Rocky Horror Picture Show, but... Um, um, well, uh, <laughs> most of us don't pray to God. <laughs> um, Are you actually juxtaposing those two things in this video? It's actually not that different. I mean, you know, there's the whole, the people who first joined Rocky and they bow down to Tim Curry and Richard O'Brien. It's <laughs> who, who a lot of people think of as God. Um, it's not that different. You know, if you, if you compare Rocky to, to different church groups, you have a support system. You have, you have your little support group, and there's, there's a lot of people that are into the same thing that you're into that will back you up no matter what, and it's, it's the same thing. I think a lot of people come to Rocky for a big variety of reasons. I've seen people come because they have no other place to go. I've seen them come because their friends drag them. My name is Shelby. And why are here? I was dragged here by a friend. Uh, my name is Colin Moyer. And where are you right now? I'm just getting out of the rock, uh, Rocky Horror Picture Show. I'm Brad Greathouse. And why are you here? I'm a Rocky Horror Show Picture, Rocky Horror Picture Show Virgin. All I knew was it was sort of some sort of cult, weird thing going on. Once you've been part of Rocky Horror Picture Show experience, you you're part of this ever-expanding group and people come back to it over and over again. I would compare Rocky to a church group in the way of fellowship because churches always talk about coming and joining in in fellowship and becoming a part of the church family and joining under a unity of something that you all believe in and share, a faith that you share. And with Rocky, maybe it's not faith-based, but it still is family-based and it's still fellowship-based and based on a lot of goodwill and trust.